It's this area here in the car. Okay. I'll look here on foot, and Marilyn, you can search here. We find him I'll radio the Sarge. He can call you direct. OK, thanks, okay. guys. You clear on your search area? Yeah. Look, if I see him, I'll call you straight away, OK? <gasps> well, there must be something I can do instead of sitting here and waiting for the damn phone to ring. No, Bobby, someone's got to be here to answer it. And besides, if Sam does find his way back, he's going to need a friendly face. I know. I know, I suppose I just want to have time to think about why he left in the first place. Hey, kids have a million and one reasons for running away from home. Some of the ones I've heard you wouldn't believe. Look, just try and relax. Yeah. How'd you go? Not a sign of him. You mean no one has seen him, no one asked him. Bobby. Any luck? No, I'm sorry, nothing. Quick, I am really starting to worry now. What happened Bobby, to Bobby, relax, will you? He's probably only a couple of blocks away and we've just missed him. Well, shouldn't we go back out and look? Yeah, we should, but I want to ring the station first. I rang about ten minutes ago. They said to keep the line free in case they needed to call. Oh, right, I might get them to ask the boys at Yabby Creek to keep their eyes open. Yabby Creek? There is no way that boy could walk to Yabby Creek all by himself. I think Nick is trying not to tell us that someone might have given him a lift. Bobby, if that's what I wanted to say, I would have said it. I'm sure Sam knows how to catch a bus. Thanks, I needed that. Yeah, I know, that's why I came over. Now, Bobby, I am going to be even more infuriating and I'm going to tell you exactly what you're thinking and why you're wrong to think it. Now, at the moment, you're feeling confused and guilty and hurt. You're confused because you don't quite know what you did wrong, but you feel there must have been something, and that's making you feel guilty. And also, you're feeling hurt because instead of confiding in you, Sam decided to run away. Pippa, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I didn't expect anything like this. Oh, Bobby, look, if I had a dollar for every time one of you terrors ran away on me, I'd be a very rich woman by now, and if I had another dollar for every time I thought it was my fault, I'd be a millionaire. Well, what are you trying to say, that I should sit back and relax because this is something every foster parent goes no, through? No, sweetheart. I'm just suggesting you try and get it into perspective, that's all. Look, Sam's a little kid who's suddenly found himself away from his mum. He's in a totally new environment. He's surrounded by people he doesn't know. So he, he got scared and he ran away. Now, that's not something you have to blame yourself for. Well, then who do I blame? I take him in here to look after him and I don't know where he is. Any luck? Sorry, nothing. This is crazy, Bobby. He can't have just disappeared. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I think I can hear something. What? Um, well, it sounds like crying. I think it's coming from somewhere underneath here. <laughs> I don't want to come out. Everybody's going to make fun of me. No one's going to make fun of you. I will when they see the mattress. And how are they going to see the mattress? I'm not going to show anybody. Aren't you going to hang it out the window? No, why would I do that? So everybody could see it. Is that what your mum used to do? Sam, I want to make a promise to you. Come on, look at me. As long as you are living with me, your mattress will never be hung out the window. And that's a promise from me to you. Now, how about you come out from under there and we wash that very grubby face of yours? In fact, we might even give you a hot shower. And then we can have some lunch. And then we can sit down and talk about all this, OK? Well, that's one for the books. I thought I was going to have to go in there and get him out myself. I wonder how she managed to do it. Oh, with a lot of love and patience. Just like any mum would. Now, that didn't take long, did it? No. You know, I need some new pegs. I think the birds must eat them off the clothesline. Can you have a look in that cupboard and see if you can find them for me? You know that rubber sheet? Yeah. When can we go and buy one? Just as soon as we've hung these on the line. Is that OK? Thanks. Now, Sam, tell me again what happens if you have an accident, whether it's wetting the bed, dropping a plate, spilling a drink or anything. I tell you, or Marilyn or Nick, 
because if it's an accident, it's nobody's fault and I won't get into trouble. Pretty clever, aren't you? I'll rescue you to the clothes, Lolly! <laughs>